Hi friends, welcome to SQLServerLog.com. Uh, in this video, today we are going to uh, see one of the SQL function, which is uh, a square root function. So basically, a, a SQL square root function is used to find out the square root of any number. As we know, we have already uh, seen in mathematics in school and colleges. So this is the same function, a square root function. We will see how to use uh, this function in SQL Server. Uh, so let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio. I have written a uh, few examples uh, uh, to explain this. So syntax for this uh, square root function is SQRT uh, float expression. So this is input number uh, which is float expression. So you can give the number and uh, uh, after executing it you will get the square root of the function. So in uh, example uh, 1, okay, I have written few queries uh, a square root of 25 we know this is a square root of 25 is 5 okay similarly if we'll check a square root of 5 so you'll get the output as 2.236 and uh, what happens uh, when we are doing a square root of 0 so let's see so a square root of uh, 0 is 0 and a square root of 1 is 1 now we'll pass a negative number minus 25 or any number which is negative to check what output comes whether it is null value or uh, whether it is coming some error let's see so a square root of minus 25 so you'll get the error as invalid floating point operation occurred okay so in this way you can use it uh, in example 2 uh, uh, i have used purchase order detail table uh, from my database uh, I have taken product ID column line total and I'm taking the square root of line total column okay so I'll show you uh, by executing this query so product ID line total is square root line total so product ID and, and that is product number okay line total and a square root of this one so a square root of 201.04 is 14.17 uh, 14.17 uh, so all the outputs you are getting see square root of this column line total column and square root value is this one so in this way you can write the query uh, in procedure or as per your business requirements so moving to next example uh, here I have taken a variable uh, as float uh, at the rate val, uh, val as float and I have set it as uh, 5 initial value for uh, uh, variable is 5 uh, now I'm using loop while loop I'm using uh, when the value at the rate value is less than 25 okay so this execution will continue uh, so my initial value is 5 and uh, in in the loop uh, while this value is less than 25 okay so it will give you output uh, I'm selecting it as a square root of value and here uh, I'm incrementing it by 5 so my output uh, would be 5 uh, uh, first uh, value would be 5 uh, then uh, 10 15 and 20 because uh, we need less than 25 okay so let's see we need uh, we'll get the output for uh, square root of 5 square root of 10 square root of 15 and square root of 20 so I'll just execute it so you can see square root of 5 is 2.23 square root of 10 square root of 15 and square root of 20 so just to cross check okay uh, this is square root of 20 4.472 so I'll just execute this one okay one liner uh, square root function just to cross verify this one uh, which uh, we got the output from while loop 4.472 okay so I'll execute this square root of 20 4.472 so we got the output so you can write a single query but uh, when you need uh, uh, when you have requirement to uh, get the output many many uh, uh, square root of many values so you can use this one while loop also as per your requirements so this is all about uh, uh, SQL square root function in SQL server I hope you like the video thank you so much